Hi, it's Jamie, and I just wanted to make a video and talk to you about the do's and don'ts of college from the comfort of my own home. Just kidding. So I decided to make this video actually while I'm at college because it makes more sense to me to tell you what to do while I'm here rather than while I'm sitting at home lounging around. I also wrote down a few things just in case I decide to forget some things. So first thing I can think of is to make your dorm room feel like home. Like at first whenever we first moved in it was just bare walls and I didn't feel at home at all. So I added some lanterns and a calendar. Let's see if I can. Yeah, a calendar and a poster I painted. And I also added the J over here and then the wall sticker of a tree. And that's just in this corner of my room behind my desk. Don't forget to talk to your roommate before you actually start living with them. Like here we get a chance to, we get their email and everything during random roommate and just in general. So in my case, my roommate and I have known each other and been friends for 11 years. So I'll save you time. We became friends in, and met in third grade. So that's 11 years worth of time to get to know somebody. And we still talked about what we wanted to do as far as cleaning and things like that. So talk to your roommate. Don't try to feel like you're just going to be thrown in with them and you're automatically going to get along. Because if you don't talk to each other, you're not going to know personality. The thing that when I was little, and I'm sure most, most of you have heard this, the saying don't talk to strangers it doesn't really apply here unless you feel weird about it. Now, I hope to do a story about a, someone I talked to and I just felt odd about it so distance yourself from those people you feel odd about or your instinct tells you to stay away from them but other than that talk to people join a club there are tons and tons of different clubs if you thought there were a lot of clubs in high school which in my case there weren't but there's a huge list of things you can do other than just school what's the point in going to class doing your work and then coming back to your dorm just to do more work. Don't believe college rumors. There's some truth to certain things, but not everyone is going to gain the freshman 15. If Obviously, if you're eating a ton of things and you're not taking the stairs or something like that, of course you're gonna gain weight. I mean, obviously I gained weight, but I didn't gain the full 15 pounds. I gained maybe five. The first week before classes started, I gained 10. And then I lost five more because of walking to class. So if you don't want to gain weight, just take the stairs and walk and eat better if you can, which is nearly impossible in college because you're surrounded by food, not only outside of your dorm, but inside your dorm as well. Hopefully one day I'll show you my two drawers full of food and I'll keep drinks up under my bed. So. And something that goes along with that, do walk to class. I haven't taken the bus once. Though I probably should have whenever I tried to carry a package across campus, but that's another story. But if you walk to class, you can kind of find your way around better. If you just take a bus, it's not going to be easy to find your way around when you're forced to walk. And plus, bus times are different. If something happens and the bus doesn't show up, you really can just walk to class. It's faster for me anyway. And see your family when you can. It doesn't have to be every week or every day. Just whenever you're able to. They understand that you have work and things that you have to do. But I have gotten to where I call my mom about every other day. It may gradually get less just because everything starts piling up if I wait too long to call her. And if I wait too long to do my work. So see your family. Don't forget shower shoes. It's, I mean the showers may look clean, that doesn't mean they're clean. I don't know whether that's just me being kind of a germaphobe. But I wouldn't trust the showers to be clean. Here, they don't clean the showers or the bathrooms every single day. So it can be two days worth of whatever, like hair and filth and everything. So in my shower shoes, it can just be flip-flops. Most people just wear flip-flops. I actually have went out and bought shower shoes. But 
if I could make the decision again, I would have gotten flip flops because they do the exact same thing. You're not walking barefoot. That's the entire point. If you're going to move into college, and even if you're not, it's best just to make a checklist because forgetting something and living far away is not fun. I actually go to college in the same state that I live in, North Carolina, but it's still not fun to go a week without something because you didn't want to write it down or you forgot to. So I've been pretty good about writing things down. Ask for help when you need it because in high school they told you that your teachers aren't going to baby you and they're not, but they're still there for you. It's not like they could care less. So if you have a question in class, just ask them. It's that easy. You get answers pretty quick. And even if you don't have the courage to go up and actually talk to your teacher or professor, then email them. Don't forget the rules. The rules to classes, rules to the dorm, and rules within your own dorm room if you and your roommate decide to do that. Forgetting the rules kind of shows irresponsibility. So make sure you know your rules and what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. Stand up for yourself. If you feel uncomfortable, there's no reason to just let someone run over you or be in a situation where someone is taking advantage of you, even if it's the simplest thing, like borrowing money. Don't, don't let people do that. And that goes for anywhere, not just college. Because if someone does it once, they're just going to keep asking. Don't be rude. That kind of goes along with starting drama and being able to make new friends. And it also, if you forget the rules, it's kind of rude. Unless you genuinely forget. Then that's different. Stock up on food. I have so many things of food. I could probably stay in my dorm and not leave for a week and still have food left over. And I eat quite a bit at a time. So make sure you have enough food because during the first couple weeks, I forgot that the cafeteria closed at a certain time. I think it was for the first week, move-in week, the cafeteria wasn't open from 2 to 4. And I decided that I wanted to eat something at 3. So I had to eat whatever was left over in my dorm, which wasn't bad because I have a ton of food. But if I didn't have food, it wouldn't have been all that great for me. Also going along with that, have money on you. Not $100 or anything like that, but just, just enough to get you by. And also keep money in your room in case of an emergency. A really important one, don't underage drink. I've seen it happen before and there will probably be a video where I talk about the entire story because it's worth more than just a minute or two in this video. It's not worth it. To see people like that, it's not even... I don't see how that's fun, not being able to remember things or anything like that. I've never had alcohol and I don't plan to until I'm 21. Or even then, it just doesn't really seem all that great to me. I like to remember things at parties. Not forget everything and say I had a good time. To do is take cool classes. I, since I'm majoring in biology and pre-vet, most of my classes I've already placed, I was already placed in were straight up biology classes. I, had a, I have a biology lecture, I have a biology lab that goes with it, and an orientation biology major. So I decided that I was going to try and get a credit out of history. Since history is not my favorite, I decided the next classes I was going to take were going to be fun classes. Like, to me, psychology is fun because I just, I'm interested in things that go on in people's minds. Not in a creepy way, but just to see why people act the way they do. And my favorite class right now is the class I'm also taking this semester. It is TV show appreciation. I did not know that was a class, but it is, and my homework is basically to watch TV shows. Not bad at all. And it's not even one a night. It's as long as I've got them done by the exam. Another thing not to do is cheat. Although it may be so tempting sometimes, but when you want to have a degree that you earned, I would hate to hear that I have a doctor that cheated on all of their college exams. That wouldn't be nice. Even if they just cheated on one, I would want them operating on me if I knew that. The other thing not to do is drugs. I mean, I don't even understand why you would want to, but 
they're illegal. There's a reason why they're illegal. It's not like they were just made illegal so you can't have fun. But I just don't see the point in it. Again, when you want to remember the good times you had instead of forget everything, don't forget an ID card. My ID card gets me into parties, lunchroom. I get, I've got money on that card, so I can't do laundry without it. I can't get into my building without it. And certain like discounts at random stores, if you don't have your card, you have no proof that you're in college. And like me, I look so young that they're going to believe I'm lying. So have your ID card. One that really got me as far as switching to college and coming here is showing up to classes. My history teacher on the second day was so surprised that even half of us showed up. And it confused me because usually in high school and any other school really, if you're in class, it's no surprise to them because your parents made you come. Here, you make yourself come. So all of my professors were so surprised that people had showed up for the second time that we were just going to skip class after the first day and expect to pass. So show up to class. Obviously, if you're really, really sick, don't. No one else wants it. But show up to class. That's one of the most important things. Even if the teacher doesn't take attendance, show up. Don't party more than you study. The only parties I have been to are university run parties, which means no alcohol whatsoever. So I don't even have to worry about that. Obviously, I'm not going alone. I don't I tend not to go to events alone unless I have to and they're earlier. But university parties, honestly, I'm not a partier at all. I just went to one of them just to see what it was like. To me, one of my friends described it as a middle school dance because it was either you were standing in a corner talking to people or you were break dancing on the floor. That was it. That was pretty much it for the first one that I went to, and I haven't really been to any since. And then there was one that I went to right as they were closing up, just so I could get a little card stamped and I could get a t-shirt. Not much of a partier. One thing that I did forget, and I did not put on my list in the beginning of whenever I was moving in, was an umbrella. And if it were not for my mom, I would not have had an umbrella for the first week of college. Which would not have been fun, considering it did rain really hard one day and most of the people had also forgotten to pack umbrellas so while I had one there were people completely soaked in the rain trying to walk from class to class it doesn't work out all that great unless you only have one class that day then you're just going back to the dorm but bring an umbrella in November I'm going to take a self-defense class so if you can possibly take a self-defense class take one I feel like I'm going to feel so much better about walking around on campus if I've taken self-defense because right now I won't go out past a certain time unless I'm with friends because it's a college campus you can't trust everyone but that doesn't mean you should be scared of everyone or afraid of what's gonna happen I'm not gonna let that stop me from walking around on campus so I'm taking a self-defense class to make myself feel better about it and who doesn't want to learn how to fight don't pretend like you know where your classes are and you can find them on the first day. It does not work. Some colleges have people standing out and will tell you for the first day or so. But if you try on the first day to find your class and you've never been to that building before, it's going to be really complicated and most likely you're going to be late. So my roommate and I went the, the weekend before classes started. And we went to each of our classes and found where the room was. So you don't have to leave as early on the first day. If you want any more advice, leave comments down below and I will try to answer as many as I can. See you in my next video. Bye. I think people can hear me through the door. One second. I'm paranoid. They were probably just laughing at each other.